All right, so I'm going to take you through the interludes. Um, the first interlude is confessions, and then there is remembrance, and then rest. Um, confession starts off as a conversation between me and my friends, and then it transitions into a conversation between me and God. Um, it's just me pouring my heart out to my friends, telling them that I'm not this man that they uh, that they see me as, because. For the longest time, I, I think people have viewed me as, um, as like an influencer, or some sort of like um, man of God. But like I, I've never truly felt that way, especially when I was going through a lot of my hardships. I was like, how could I ever live up to that title when all I've done is cause pain? Um, so that was it. Was like it was such a hard thing for me to um, to grasp. So then the second portion is me pouring my heart out to God. And I just feel like there's this disconnect between me and him that he, there was a point where I had like this spiritual high where I could always feel him or it always felt like he was speaking to me. But when I fell back down that dark road, I just kind of stayed there, stayed in that rut. And it just felt like he wasn't there, even though he he was present. It was just hard for me to see at the time. Um, so it was. It's pretty much just my plea to God, like, where are you? Like, I need you. Um, and then it transitions into remembrance, um, where I get to this point where I'm starting to remember the things that that God had done for me in the past, and it began to propel me forward. Um, to get better, to become the man of God that um, not only did my friends see me as, but who God uh, sees me as and who he says I am. And then finally is rest, where it's just the conclusion, the closure, where you just finally f accept the fact that even though we struggle and we go through all this stuff in life, God is, is ever so present and in that moment, he can fill you with his peace. Um, so I learned to receive that peace during that time.